Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video here. This uh, video is going to be how to, I, I, I made a shortcut to the sound settings on your computer. So when you go to hook up a two-way radio, whether it's a handheld or whether it's a repeater, whatever the case may be, this little shortcut icon or shortcut is going to help you get to those settings a lot faster instead of, uh, you know, trying to weed your way through all the Windows settings. Now, this is Windows 10 I'm doing this on. I'm going to check if this will work on Windows 11, and, and I'll post, I'll edit the description down below to tell you if it works with Windows 11. This uh, zip file that you're going to need to download is going to be at my forum, and you can join my forum for free uh, and post questions on there for free. Um, it, this zip file I will put under the free download category on my forum. Like I said, it's free to register, free to you know post a, a question. So, at any rate, go there to, to get this. Once you download this zip file, what you're going to do is you're going to... I'll move it right here so it's easy. You're going to right click on it. We're going to do a, extract all. Now it's gonna. Now I'm gonna put this on my desktop, so you can change the path. But I think it's best to put it on the desktop uh, because I'll show you why. So we're gonna uh, go ahead. You can you can uncheck this, or or this will open up the, the window for you, or the folder I should say. Um, so we'll leave that checked. But we're gonna hit extract. Okay. Now it opened up. Like I said. Now I'm gonna close this. Now it made a folder here. Let's move this zip file. We're done with that. Now it made a folder here. So I can either leave it in the folder. If I double click on here, here's the shortcut. I can either leave it in the folder, or if you don't want it in the folder and you want to take it out and put it on your desktop, that's why I say to unzip this on the desktop, go ahead and click on it. Hold down the right mouse button. Drag this out. Let go. And it's going to say, do to move to here. We're going to move that there. Now it's all the folder. Now I can delete this folder. So let's go ahead and close this. We're going to delete this folder because I don't need it. I have it out of the folder. We still got the zip file. Now if I click on this, this is what it's going to do. It calls up the sound settings, which in turn has there's a playback here that lets you uh, the, the speaker out, as you can see here, I have a headset plugged in, so that's why it says USB. We can click on that. We can hit properties. We can go to levels, and you can adjust the volume or mute it. This volume here is actually the same that's down here. When you click on your, your volume, see the numbers are the same. Okay. Now, there is this one, my headset does have an option for microphone, but I use this, the actual microphone under the microphone and I'll show you what I mean here so and now if you see a little red that means it's, it's it's muted so let's go ahead and hit close we're gonna go to recordings up here now if you can see the microphone I'm using we click on that now we go to properties now we can go to levels now I can adjust this or I can mute this microphone okay that's where you adjust it you can see the microphone I'm using because the, the green here is going up okay so, or I can disable the microphone. As you can see here, some of these microphones I have disabled because when I use my cameras, I don't want to use the built-in microphone. I want to use the headset so you don't hear all the background noise. So I disable them. And to disable a microphone, you right-click on it, and here is enabled. If I check it, it will enable it. If I uncheck it, it disables it. That's how you can disable your microphones, okay? So this is where you go for your microphones. If you're having problems with your your sound, your microphone on your computer, it's it's too loud and you need to turn it down, the mic setting, this is where you go, okay? Now, this makes it easier with this little shortcut, okay? Now, if you want to get fancy here and you want to change the icon look of this, click on here, right-click, go to properties, go to change icon, and now you can scroll through here and pick out an icon just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to select the gear one. We're going to hit that one. We're going to hit OK. We're going to hit apply. 
and we're going to hit OK. And now I change that icon to a gear. But you can change it wherever you want, whatever options in there. Um, so now, boom, look how fast that is to get to that window now without having to go through four or five steps. So at any rate, I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. Please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.